Hello fellow YouTubers, I want to recommend to you an exceptional film. It really would be worth your time to spend an hour and a half watching it. In the recent years our life pace has accelerated, we seem to not really have enough time to watch movies. However, we should abandon everything from time to time and just watch a really good movie for an hour and a half or so. A huge cordon was um, created so that nobody could, uh, could leave. This film is a documentary, but not just any documentary, but one about the biggest crime of the 20th century. And no, it's not about the Nazis, it's about the communist. Communism, after all, was not Nazism. It was about equality and harmony. There was nothing wrong with the idea itself. Well, actually, there was. Now the first question that many people would ask is why I would be interested in such a documentary? And the answer is very simple. Today, in the West, the same ideology that killed millions is becoming more and more popular. The birth of the new man was the ultimate aim of Marxism. Breeding a new evolutionary form of human being who will think, look, and act differently. But communists were not alone in this endeavor. Wir müssen einen neuen Menschen erziehen und zu einer neuen Lebensform zu bilden. Hitler's National Socialism was also about creating a new man. This is the first documentary to ever speak publicly about the similarities between the Nazi and the communist ideology. Ordinary things for historians, but almost unheard for the wider audience. Uh, people keep forgetting uh, that Nazi regime in Germany was also socialist. It was the officially were called uh, National Socialist Workers Party. So it's a branch of socialism. The Soviets were international socialists and th those were in Germany national socialists. So it's the same thing in reality, only slightly different interpretation. What it said is that most people in the West consider that the communists were better compared with the Nazis. The Nazis will exterminate millions of Jews. They will take away their gold, melt it down and deposit the bars in Swiss banks. We don't know what communists did with the gold confiscated from these people. And was there any gold? What we do know is what communists did with the grain taken from them. It was exported to the West. Millions upon millions of tons. Despite the famine, the export of Ukrainian grain was increased to the maximum level. The Western media reported both on the scale and character of the famine genocide. Ukrainians were being exterminated in front of the whole world. But the world did nothing to help them. 
Seven million people were starved to death in the space of one year. Mankind has never seen a more efficient extermination program than the one in Ukraine during the winter of 1932 and 33. This is the first time when some ideas who are known by historians for many years they are shown uh, in a documentary and presented to a wider audience. Classes and the races, too weak to master the new conditions of life, must give way. They must perish in the revolutionary holocaust. Karl Marx what is very bad is that the end of this movie, this extraordinary movie, it seemed like would have a political affiliation. Mr. Rogozin of Russia, Mr. Rogozin, you have the floor. Mr. Rogozin led the Russian delegation in the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe. He repeatedly voiced his concern about the rebirth of fascism in Europe. At home, his agenda was a little different. The pre-election clip of his party. Let's rid Moscow of trash. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, just go to their site and you could find out more information about the movie, when the movie is going to come to your country and stuff like that. Uh, I wish you a good day and if you're going to see the movie, please come back and tell me a few words about it.